All right, Lene, you're the pentathlon, not just the state champion, but the federation champion. Just what are your thoughts about that? Um, It's definitely super rewarding and gratifying because, you know, obviously you win the smaller state titles, but you look at the <laughs> overall picture and you're like, darn. But coming out the over, overall champion was really awesome. Now that last race, I mean, it was that first lap seemed a little tough, but that second yes. lap you got it. How would you describe the last race there? Um, you were right. The first lap was super, super tough. I got elbowed quite a few times and I was like, <laughs> let me just settle in. Like I'll run my race. And then, um, you know, thinking back to sectionals last week, like I saved the fight for today. My coach was like, if you hit that same 600 time and you just finish that 200 kid, it'll be great. That's exactly what I did, and it was it was a challenge, but I saw the finish line, I saw that gold medal, and I was just like, I want it more than they do. Now, what was the emotions like when it hit for you that you're not just a state champion, but a, but a federation champion in the pentathlon? It's been a roller coaster, I'd say, all day today. I unfortunately cried this morning, and then I cried after the long jump. Happy tears that time. And so I've definitely gone like this for sure, but knowing that like I did it and I went through all those trials, you know, it, it really was just like a feeling of relaxation. I was like, no more worrying. Now what made you cry this morning? Um, I was really down about the high jump. I'd say I underperformed in that event for sure. And I was at 135 points behind uh, in the Federation. And it just, it seemed very unaccomplishable. I was like, you know, the heavy point scores were in the beginning. And then I was 83 points behind after long jump. So I made up a little, but I knew I really had to finish this 800. It wasn't over until it was over. Now your head coach, you know, cried a little bit. Just yeah. what was that like seeing, if you saw it, just seeing him so happy for you? Um, I knew they were tears of joy, of course. I think we both have a couple tears to cry over, you know. <laughs> My last high school race ever. It's I'm going to nationals next week, but last time wearing the Springville jersey, um, it's sad. But it's been you know it's been an amazing journey with him. I wouldn't have wanted anyone else to be my coach. Now we've talked about it multiple times, but again, you're representing Springville. Just what are your thoughts about representing your hometown and your last race ever being a federation championship? I think you said it perfectly. Um, it was the federation for me. Like knowing I can come home and say you know like guys like I did it. I did the big one. Um, and just, you know, give that name to not only myself, but to Springville, it, it's super amazing. Now, three times state champion. Yes. One time federation ship, just your accolades, your list. I mean, again, we've talked about it earlier, but now you have something extra to add. Just thoughts about your high school career and everything you've been able to do. Um, You know, I was really bummed about my last uh, section six performance back at Alden, you know, that it was my last, but I honestly, I couldn't have pictured this one going any other way. I'm really happy it was a positive turnout um, for sure, but overall it's, it's a really good day. And last one for me is, again, just, you know, thoughts and the celebration of family and friends of being a Federation champion. I honestly, I haven't seen my parents yet. <laughs> I don't know where they are, but, oh, there he is. <laughs> um, you know, I'm glad I can make them proud. Sorry, my mouth is really dry. Um, I can make myself proud. It's just, I think we're going to go home and probably get something good for dinner. Last one. I, I did think of one more. I mean, a lot of people view you as, you know, one of the most decorated athletes in spring girl history, regardless of sport. What are your thoughts about just what, I, what you've been able to accomplish and maybe the inspiration you are to the kids that are coming up behind you? Actually, she just walked up here, Kendra Cook. You know, I told her, like, hey, maybe if you want to come down and watch Saturday in hopes that, like, I would win and she could see that, be there for that. I can celebrate my win with her, but... I'm honestly just hoping like I'm setting them up on a really good path and paving the way for that.